All right, here's an example for how to do homework and do a report. In this example, I am going to implement one logic function, um, and I'm going to also simulate it. So a report should start something like this. You have a uh, uh, cover page over here identifying the class and the assignment and what have you. And then you have the statement of the problem. So in this case, uh, the problem is to uh, simulate this function and implement it. Obviously, it's given as a truth table. The implementation has to only use gates uh, of type AND, OR, AND, NOT. And the solution starts by taking the truth table and extracting the raw regular expression, uh, which, as you see here, uh, the ones are the min terms uh, 1. So the function is true at the min terms 1, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So the raw expression of the function would be uh, the sum of the min terms m1, m4, m5, m6, and m7. Then, from there, we have to manipulate to get a reduced expression. Now, you can go straight from this step and substitute the, uh, uh, the forms of the min terms in terms of x, y, z variables. But I did an extra step over here just to show you how I'm going to group them in order to get them uh, to, to get a reduced expression. So you see over here what I did is I duplicated the min term 5 and then I grouped together min term 1 and m5 and then the rest of them uh, because from here I can factor out uh, yz and just get x prime and x inside which will just reduce to 1 and then the other four terms they can uh, group into two groups like this uh, which then, you know, can be factored out and also reduced further. You can go over this uh, manipulation here and see how the function actually reduces down to this. So after the mathematical acrobatics, I know that my function is implemented by this expression, this reduced expression. So now I have to simulate this in Simuade. And to do that, I get my simulate. And I'm going to have three variables. So I'm going to need three switches. So I'm going to look under parts for switches. And um, I'm going to take one, two, and three. So this will be A excuse me, this will be x, this will be y, and this will be z. So let's label them. Uh, so I'm going to go over here and select a label. I'm going to label this one, come on, as x. Uh, and then this one is going to be y. And then this one is going to be z. Okay done with the labeling. Now, um, my expression needs to be x plus y inverted and z. So I'm going to make this one, this term, the z and uh, y prime. And so the way to do this will be uh, taking y and then inverter. So I'm going to invert this. Okay, I'm going to put this one like that. And then uh, I need a wire to connect this to this. And then I need a end gate to input end gate. And then I'm going to need to wire again to connect this to this and this 
to this. All right. And so the output of this is going to be the Y0 and Z. And now this output has to be ORed with the X. So I need an OR gate, which I'm going to put right here. And then I need the wires to connect this, uh, this one right here, to this, and this, right here, to this. And that's my circuit. Now, I'm also going to use a probe, um, like this, just to be able to see what the output of the circuit really is. Now I'm going to simulate um, and the simulate is uh, it's already started actually and so uh, oops I don't need this uh, so now all I need to do is just give different values so uh, I know that my function should be true for um, M1, so X is 0, Y is 0, and Z is 1, and we should be 1. Also, when all of them are 1, it should be 1, and so on. So let's try this combination first. Uh, 0, 0, 1. So 0, 0, and toggle this one. See? The output is 1. So when I toggle all of them to once, I have the combination uh, 1, 1, 1. And the output is also 1. For a combination of, um, say, 0, 1, 1, or 0, 0, 0, my output should be 0. Okay? So let's try this. 0, 1, 1. So x will be 0, and the others will be 1. My output is 0, OK? 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0, and 0. My output is 0. So this works correctly. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot of this and insert it in the report. I also can save the file, save it as. I can submit this on Moodle as well. But for now, all I need to do is just get a screenshot of this. So I'm going to go and paste this, this screenshot right here. So that's my circuit. And then um, I'm going to go and do the Tinkercad. Okay, so now I should go to Tinkercad. And on Tinkercad, I'm going to select circuits, create a new circuit. And then from here, I need to get a breadboard, a small breadboard, uh, which I'm going to put right here. And then um, I need to get some chips and put on the board. So I'm going to get, um, let's see, um, 74, 7408 is an end gate. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to place it right here. And then I need also an inverter and an OR gate. So the inverter should be the 7404, which is this one. Um, I'm going to place it actually, I'm going to move them around a little bit. I'm going to have the inverter first, then I'm going to have the end gate over here, uh, and then I'm going to need an OR gate the OR gate is a 7432, so it's right here. 
so I'm going to stick one right there okay and remember that the way these things look um, are as follows the end gate package is configured like this you can find this on model so the first two inputs are inputs to the gate the third pin is output and then this pattern repeats for the second gate and then on this side it's like that we're only going to need only one gate however so this is the one we're going to use the inverter the OR gate has a similar arrangement exactly the same like the previous one and the uh, inverters uh, they go every two pins you have one gate so input output input output and so on all right so this is the layout so I'm gonna wire the the chips uh, the this pin is always going to be power so I need to connect uh, these pins to the channel that I'm going to use for power so this one will connect over there as well and then this pin is always going to be uh, ground so I need to make sure I'm going to connect these to the uh, channel that I'm going to use for ground so this one will connect to ground and this one will connect to ground okay now um, I am going to need my inputs so let's say that my uh, X uh, Y and Z inputs uh, will be available as wires I'm going to need to invert the Y so I'm going to need an inverter from this one and it's going to go like this I'm going to designate this channel as my signal X so let's put a wire over here from here to the ground okay um, to indicate that this line is going to be connected to the ground to logical zero then I'm going to have my uh, signal uh, Y also to the ground and my signal Z also to the ground right there now um, next I need to take the Y and invert it so I need a wire from here to the very first pin uh, right there okay and then the inverted Y is going to be this pin right here the inverted Y has to be ended with the Z and that is because of um, this I need to implement this okay so so the end gate is going to be I'm going to use is this one so the inverted signal will have to come to the very first pin right here and I'm going to make this uh, a different color so that um, we don't get confused then this signal right here has to be the second the second input to the end gate so I'm going to connect it right there and I'm going to turn this one into a um, blue wire and then the output of the end gate has to be ORed together with the X signal so I need an OR gate for this and um, I'm gonna use this first OR gate so the output of this which is this has to be fed to this pin I'm gonna turn this one into a pink wire 
and then I need to take this one and feed it to the second input of the OR gate like this let's turn this one into a um, brown wire okay so the output which is this signal right here is the one that ORs together the other two signals and that's my master output so if I would like to make this visible then I'm gonna have to somehow connect this to an LED so that I can see the results so I'm gonna bring this one over to uh, this channel and I'm gonna turn it into a turquoise like that and then I'm gonna need an LED like this that I need to connect like this and then I need a resistor actually this might not be the best arrangement let me put this up a little bit like this and then take this wire and uh, move it over there and now I need a resistor to go between the LED and the ground like that okay all right so now I need power for all of this I can move this by just clicking anywhere on the white space and moving it around like that um, and I have to also say that I could have used switches for this um, but I don't want to complicate the design so I used straight wires and uh, I can arrange the values that I want over here by just moving the wire from the ground to the power but I'm going to need some batteries to power this thing so I need um, let's see batteries now this one will do uh, but I will need about 5 volts so I'm gonna need uh, probably three of them in series it will do so two and three and then I need to connect the wires from here to here and uh, from here to here and then this should be my uh, ground also I should put ground over here like this <clears throat> okay and then I should also need uh, the power connect this one to the power like this turn this one into a red um, there you go and I also need to connect the power from here to here also a red okay so now um, I have my powers I have everything there um, and I'm going to start the simulation which I'm going to start the simulation now I have all my variables at zeros uh, according to my truth table when all the variables are zeros the output should be a zero when z is one and the other two are zeros the output should be a one all right so let's see uh, i need to stop the simulation in order to move the wires so i'm going to make the z go to um, let's 
see I got to select this one first oopsie I got to select this and then I have to move this one over there there you go start the simulation and my LED doesn't light up which means that I have connected it in the wrong polarity so I'm going to stop the simulation here so either something is wrong with my circuit or it is the polarity of the, uh, the LED that is the problem so I'm going to have to move this wire so I'll select oh man I need to select this one move it over there and then take this and move it over there like that now start the simulation and my LED now is lighting up as it was supposed to all right um, so this is basically the simulation now I can try another code um, so go back to my truth table I see that if all of the input if uh, X and Y are ones and Z is a zero my output should be a one uh, if I have X at zero Y at one and Z at zero my output should be zero so let's turn Y to one and the other two to zero so stop the simulation select this first and once it is selected then move this one to a one and then select this one then grab this one and move it to the zero so now I have a combination zero one zero so for this the simulation should show, show an inactive LED as it is now if I move to um, a combination such as uh, one one zero my output should be one again so uh, let's see I need to move this one to one there you go so I have one one and zero start the simulation the LED lights up okay so that's it um, I can now take a screenshot and uh, put it in my report so I'm gonna just take this screenshot like that and then um, I can go back to my report and place the screenshot right there and I can also uh, put in the link so I can go over here and say um, that this circuit over here is called this way um, I can uh, get a link to it uh, and make this shareable okay and uh, then take the link and uh, go and insert it into my report like this okay now that is it and I hope it is simple enough